guys, so I have a Stitch Fix unboxing. I just got it. I have not even opened it yet, and um, I'm still in my workout clothes from today, but I got home from my um, jog and from picking up my son from school and all that good stuff, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and film it because it was on my doorstep. So, let's get started. If you haven't watched my past Stitch Fix video, then you don't know this, so I will tell you. I have kept every box, Stitch Fix box, so far, I've kept, all, I've kept all the items. This will be my fourth, my fourth one. So this is the February Stitch Fix. Here we go. Um, I'm trying to remember what I told my stylist. I think I just told her that I had a baby shower coming up. That's the only thing I told her, and I told her that I, I was interested in brightening up my wardrobe. Um, and that's pretty much it. And I always tell them, don't give me any sweaters or like leather jackets or anything like that because I live in Hawaii. Alright, so as always, the return packaging, and um, here we go. It says, hi Malkin, welcome back again. Thanks so much for sharing your notes and Pinterest. It's always a pleasure working with you. I'm so sorry to hear that your fixes have been arriving late. Okay, so they haven't been arriving late, but they've been arriving later than the um, tracking says. Like, the tracking will say they're delivered, but they get they come two days later. And, like, it's correct on the Stitch Fix website, so I just let them know that. Um, so that's what she was saying. She said, um, the Lay Liz Fit and Flare dress has a fun retro print. Pair with wedges and a bright statement necklace for a dinner date. The Kelly Green and Blue Color Block blouse will be paired perfectly with white denim. Just add metallic sandals and you are ready for brunch. The Margaret M pants have a great modern print. Pair these with the red blouse and heels for a great office outfit. The navy skirt is one flirty little number. Pair with a white silk blouse, ankle boots, and a blazer. This work ensemble will also take you to happy hour with friends. Have fun, gorgeous. I can't wait to hear your feedback. So I'm kind of bummed there's a navy blue skirt, but we'll see what it looks like because I got a navy blue skirt uh, in my last one. Um, but we'll see. Maybe it'll be a totally different sort of style. All right. So, oh, I also did say no accessories this month. Um, I like the accessories I've got from them, but I just would much rather get a wardrobe piece of clothing. Okay. So, here we go. All right. So, right off the top, I'm seeing what I believe is the dress. Um, I'm kind of bummed because these are not bright, bold colors. They're, uh, well, they're, I see red. But, who, we'll see. Uh, it is bold print. So this is the Liliz uh, printed dress that she said was sort of a retro fit and feel. And this dress is $78. So this is what it looks like. Uh, it is really cute, I can see. The only thing I will say is that I am holding it up right now in the light and I can see through some parts of it. So that's what it looks like. It's a nice print. It's on a zipper back. It is very stretchy material. Um, so yeah, we'll try that on. And I always, I think I've said this before, I always get mediums in my tops and dresses. And I get larges or size 10s in my bottoms because I have said before, I have a very big butt and I have very muscular quads. So I find that if I get an 8, sometimes it is just so tight around my butt or very tight around my thigh area and I don't like that and usually it's just not flattering so I go for a bigger size on the bottom so here's that okay and then here is the navy um, skirt and this is the by Sugar Lips it's the Daisy mini skirt and this is $58 um, actually this is totally different from the other dress that I got Last month, really, really cute, really fun. There is some, I'm not sure if you guys can see it here, um, some nice like seam, seams here, I guess you would call them, like stitching, really, really nice, really pretty. I think it'll be really flattering. It's like, it's right around this area, so it kind of accentuates the hips. It's got a really fun little flare on the bottom, so that's really cute. So far, I like everything. I don't like that that one dress looks a little see-through, but I'll have to put it on and see how it how it looks. Um, ooh, these pants look so fun. These are the Margaret M. Slimming Pant, and these are $98. This is the most expensive item in the box. Um, but, wow, really cute um, pant. They're like an ankle pant, I'm assuming, is what they kind of look like. I'm not crazy about the feel. Um, but they are really cute, so I'll have to try them on. Um, I wish I could tell you guys the material. Oh, here we go. 
They are 75% rayon, 21 nylon, and 4% spandex. Um, wash it in cold water, and there looks like you can iron it as well. Um, they're so, I'll have to try those on and see how they go, but they are really cute, um, just looking, going off of the way they look. This is a Collective Concepts top, and this is $54, and it is called the Estin Button Up Sleeveless Blouse. Really love the red. I don't have a ton of red in my wardrobe, so I really love this. I actually have a Pico top coming that's red. I've been really wanting to incorporate more red, and I don't know, maybe it's because Valentine's Day is right around the corner. I've been seeing a lot of red and pink, and so I want it. Um, just looks like a basic um, blouse, sheer, really nice. Very pretty. Um, you definitely could find it somewhere else probably, but I do like this. Um, and this was $54. So we will try that on. I think this is going to be really nice with those pants. Or that, sh that skirt even. Ooh, love this. Okay, so I didn't see this. This is definitely a bright color. Um, this is the 41 Hawthorne Teresa Color Blocked Sleeveless Blouse. The 41 Hawthorne stuff usually fits me really well, and I usually like it. This is $48, and again, I get all my tops from um, Stitch Fix in mediums. Wow, so, so cute. Really like this. It feels really well made. Love the color. Don't have anything like this in my collection. Also love the gold zipper detail down the back. And again, this was $48. This is the least expensive item in the box. So that's fun. So I really like that. I think this might be my favorite item. Um, I just like the way that it, the stitching is. If you look around the back here, <clears throat> the there's like a little seam that comes up and around. I actually really like that. So I'm definitely going to keep this because I really do like it. Um, yeah, really nice. So the total for everything, if I was to keep everything, which a lot of times I do because usually I try it on and I find like, Okay, well, it's not really that worth it to send the one thing back or whatever. So, um, the merchandise total is $336. Uh, they subtract your styling fee from that, um, which is like the amount they charge you monthly. So, it brings that down to $316. And then my buy five discount is $79. So, basically, when you spend, when you buy all five items, they give you a discount. And so that brings my total for all one, two, three, four, five items. I don't know why I had to count that. All five items to 237. Um, and I do have $100 of Stitch Fix uh, referral credit right now. So that's always nice. I think if I was going to send anything back, it would maybe be the dress, depending on how it fits. But I'm not crazy about the pattern or the feel. I'd have to try it on. But um, just off the top, just... From looking at it um, that would be one of the bigger things I would think about uh, returning and the dress is $78 and I'm getting a $79 buy five discount um, maybe the red blouse although I just do really like it uh, so we shall see I think I'll probably end up keeping all of it because I usually do and um, I do have some referral credit but yeah, so those are my pieces. It did come with the little card, and I tend to keep these in my jewelry box just to have to refer to in case. Okay, so I like to show you guys how the pants fit in these boxes if I get a chance. So these are the Margaret M pants. I do like them. I think they're not as flattering as they could be. If you see here, it makes it look like I have this really big like pouch, and I really don't. Um, but I don't know. They're really cute. These are medium large these are large um, so that's how they look they are it does they do not have any zipper or anything it's like a pull-up pant um, but not like a legging okay so I figured I'd show you guys the skirt it's not a great fit I don't think um, I just have a really big do you see what I mean I don't I don't have a really big butt like people have bigger butts than I do but um, yeah I don't know and it does bunch so, and this is a large, so just keep that in mind if this is something that you're interested in or that comes in your box, just heads up. Um, but I definitely could see um, with the right top how it could be cute. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys the dress because I actually ended up loving it way more than I thought that I would. Um, I do not have the proper undergarments on with it. Obviously, it, this is a sports bra. I wouldn't wear it. Um, but hopefully, guys, you can see. Um, it's actually a really, really cute cute dress. 